Okay, so now we're in part nine where we're going to render the revolver by taking it over into a different context known as Solaris. This is where Houdini does its lighting and rendering. Before we do that though, we want to clean up the network a little bit in here. Let's go in here. Let's go up here and let's zoom in. Now one way we can do that is simply by selecting all these various null objects that we have here. Input, uh, hide input. Um, and oh, let's bring the trigger back hide input. So if we press L, we have that as sort of a nice organized uh, thing right here. Now to take this over to Solaris, uh, we need basically two main pieces. One of them is this, which is the body, and this is the handle. And to get them into Solaris, we're going to put down what's called a name node. And this name node, uh, we're going to give it the name body and then we're gonna alt drag over to here and then just place it in there and this one we're gonna call the handle and this is because the handle has UVs and we're gonna assign wood to it and the rest of the revolver we're just going to assign a metal to it so we're setting that up in preparation so let's click this back and now we're going to go into the Solaris de desktop. So we're going to go um, Solaris from here, from this desktop menu. But we're still pointed towards the object level. So what we need to do is click on here and go Stage. So here we are in the stage. And this is where uh, we can bring in. So we're going to go Tab, Scene Import. We're going to place that down. And under Objects, we're going to click here from this menu here, click Revolver, Accept Pattern. And there we go. There is our revolver. And you see in what's known as the scene graph, there is a body and a handle. So that came from the names that we added to that. What we can also do is just to make sure this renders, if we were to go into here, let's go Karma XBU. Um, Oh, it's coming across uh, nicely, but just to make sure, uh, we can always do geometry handling and make sure that we do treat as subdivision. That'll just make sure that it comes across. But I think in general, we were getting pretty good smoothing there automatically. That has all the pieces we need, and we are ready to go. So the first thing we're going to add into this is we're going to add a material linker. And this is a node that does a couple different things. First thing is it has access to a catalog. And in this catalog, we can come down to things like metal iron, drag that over, and go down to like wood dark, bring that over. Now once we have those in our material list, and those um, will also go into the scene graph. You see they now become part of the scene graph there. We need to assign them. So the rules are, let's take metal iron, and we're going to assign that to the body. And we're going to take wood dark, bring that over, and we're going to assign that to the handle. And you can see the wood on there. Now let's turn this graph off. We don't need to see that. And we're not seeing, <laughs> this doesn't look very great right now because the reality is iron needs to reflect things and there's nothing else in the scene. So we're going to solve that problem with the dome light. So we're going to go tab, dome, light. We're going to put that down. Wire that in. Let's turn this off so we don't have to see the light geometry and let's just get the select tool. So now it's essentially reflecting a white background which is not that exciting either. So we're going to go to this texture field here. Click on here. Go uh, HDRI and we're going to get a skylit garage and press accept. And you see that kick in, and now it's looking quite nice. Now it's not super realistic, uh, because an Old West revolver in a garage doesn't really make sense. Uh, but we'll take a look at that, uh, solve that in a second. We're going to do this by adding in some background geometry. So we're going to go Tab, Sop, Create. We're going to put that 
right here and we're going to wire that into here. We're then going to go down to SOP Create where we're going to add a tube. And we're going to make this 5, tab 5. And we're going to make the height 10. And if we go spacebar H, we can come out and see that. So we're going to add in columns of 30. So that'll add more detail in that direction. Okay, so now we go into here, we go, uh, let's go get the select tool. Select tool N. We're going to go tab clip. And we're going to set the direction to minus 1, which goes to the other side. We're then going to add a, let's have a UV flatten node. This is going to go in and take uh, the geometry we have and flatten that out nicely. And you can see the UVs there and there. And then we're going to go tab UV transform. And this is going to allow us to get more of them. So we're going to go here and we're going to go scale 3, tab negative 3, tab 3. And now we get a lot more, the, more, more of the grid to work with. Now if we go back to the stage level, let's zoom in on the, the gun. Let's click the select tool. Let's zoom in, get a nice view of the gun. Now, the SOP, this SOP Create, we're going to ch change the name of that to Background. And so that goes into the scene graph as background. We're also going to go in and put a quick surface material down. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to make a material with some textures. Now, if we go back to the material linker, we can take, oh, let's name that. background material. So now if we go down to the material linker, we can take that background material and drag it over. And we can take that background geometry and put it there. Oh, did we bring... Oh, we did that to wood. We don't want that with wood. Okay, we don't want that with wood. So let's just go back and just get our dark wood and we'll assign the handle to that. Perfect, that goes back to there. We're gonna to go to our background material and we're gonna get the background and assign that to there. And that's just white right now. But we're gonna go back to the material and get some textures. So we're gonna go set a create. Let's go click the file node here, go dollar hip, texture, fabric, and diffuse. And there we go. And that's sort of a more westerny sort of look. And then we're going to go bump, set a create, bump, and we get the bump. And that adds a bit of three dimensionality to that. Okay, so from this no cam menu, let's say new camera, and that sort of click on, make sure this is locked, and we can go and zoom in a little bit to get. And there we go. Now, let's go Shift F1. So now we have, uh, that is our view. We want to render it. So we're gonna go Karma, put down a Karma render settings, feed that in. We're gonna set the display peg here and we'll see that it went to CPU. We want the XPU uh, and we want under image output, let's go filters and turn on the optics denoiser. So that um, just will help things resolve a little bit faster. And once we have that, we can scroll, click this last node down here, go render to M play, and we'll soon get to see the final output of this project. So here is the rendering. It's still finishing up, resolving, but we've been able to take this from but uh, building the first piece of geometry, uh, building a whole bunch of different parts to this gun, assigning materials and rendering. So 
Congratulations. I hope you had fun working on this project. There's lots uh, more on the SideFX website. Have a great day.